Hello guys, Antman872. This is going to be my first of many iPhone SDK tutorials. So for today's tutorial, we're going to um, be adding an info button um, to your project where developers usually put their info page or about pages into uh, their apps. And when you click this info button, it's going to have an animated horizontal flip into a new view. So let's get right into this. Let's go open up Xcode, file, new project. View based application, choose, I'm going to call this info button. Okay. And just let's expand it. Expand our classes and our resources. That's all we're going to be using today. So, what we're going to do, add the info, go into your info button, viewcontroller.h, or whatever you named your project, um, the view controller for it. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to add an action. So, let me just zoom up for you guys. Um, do dash. Uh, IB action close parentheses um, now we need to name the action so I'm just going to call this info button um, pressed and the uh, full colon uh, open parentheses ID close parentheses sender and then close it so basically this text right here um, is what you can change. That's the just the name of the action that's going to be displayed in interface builder. So Apple S. Um, now go into your resources and info button view controller dot nib or uh, xib. And here we go. What we're going to do? I'm going to add a uh, text view really quick. Okay. So here's the text view. Um, nice, nice and neat. Okay, so here's our text view. We've got the text view right there. Now we're going to our inputs and values, uh, UI button, and we're just going to put that right there for now. And we're going to go on to the inspector tab, the inspector window, and under attributes tab, uh, type. It's going to be info dark because we have a light background, so it's going to be displayed in a darker color than you normally see. So as you can see, this is kind of just what your page would look like. Um, if just whatever you'd have on the page and then here's your info button where you can place anywhere it doesn't matter uh, I just like putting it there in the corner so now we need to go into our connections tab and we need to go uh, let's right click on the files owner and as you can see we see the received actions info button pressed that's what we named it and let's drag it over and to our dark info button let go and click touch up inside which is basically they touch it and release that's when the action is called upon apple s and then apple q to quit interface builder now let's make the view that we want it to display so uh, just add a new file you have view controller subclass make sure this width nib for user interface is selected we're going to call it second view controller Okay, let's add the second view controller into our resources for organization. Um, there we go. And let's just open up the second view controller really, really quick. And okay, so I'm just going to add um, a label saying second view because this is our second view. And we want it to know uh, that this is our second view. And then I'm just going to add a text field over here. Okay, now that we got our text, just to tell you guys that this is the view um, that we want it to display. So this is the second view, Apple S, and quit the application. Go into our info button, view controller dot H. Let's copy this action so that we don't have to type it in all over again. Go into the dot M, and what we're going to do first is we're going to import our... Um, our second view controller so that we know that uh, Xcode knows what we're talking about when we start using that. So import whatever view controller you want the info button to display. So now we're going to type in um, first let's type in that copy paste the action and now we need to tell Xcode what this action is going to do. So we're going to uh, put second view controller because that's what we imported and we're just going to put a star or asterisk and we're going to make it shorter name, so like second um, is going to be the name. Equals two brackets, make sure there's two. Um, we're going to put second view controller again, alloc, which is allocate. 
and then we're going to tell it in it with nib name. We don't need it to load a nib name because we already told it to load the second view controller. Um, so you just put nil, which is not applicable basically for um, Xcode. Then close this bracket. So you close your first bracket, close the line of code. Um, and that's basically all we need to do there. So uh, click return twice. Now we need to put second or whatever we put right here second dot model transition style this is what now what, what we're telling it is to do the flip horizontal transi transition style so equals UI um, model transition style flip horizontal that's what I was talking about earlier uh, close the line of code now we need to tell it to use this so um, do bracket self present model view controller second because that's what we named it always uh, each time we would have to put second view controller so I think seconds a lot easier we want it to be animated always we wouldn't have put that uh, line of code right here um, and then we're gonna close brackets close the line of code and we're gonna put a, a close right there Apple S to save it and let's just uh, build and go no errors that's always good okay so here's our main view that we made the info button view controller we click it we see our second view okay but now we want to be able to go back uh, into our uh, info button view controller so what we need to do is go into our second view controller and we need to make an action for this view controller so I'm just gonna um, zoom up so that you guys can see um, so we're gonna need to make an action so basically it's the same thing that we already did IB action close and I'm just gonna call this back button uh, pressed and then do a colon um, ID close parenthesis sender um, so basically we just made another action once again you can change this text right here um, but I'm not going to because that's what I named it Apple S and then go into your second view controller um, dot nib and what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, I'm gonna just gonna bring that down there and just bring this right here and now you guys can do whatever you um, want I'm just gonna uh, make this a little bit smaller and we're gonna go into our windows views and bars we're gonna add a toolbar to the top of this application and basically we're just gonna have this single button saying back and now what we need to do is uh, let's just go into our connections tab on our inspector window sex, uh, uh, second view controller make sure you have that selected the files owner and received actions back button pressed we're gonna put that to our back button and we don't have to worry about putting touch up inside because uh, UI toolbar um, they have the UI bar buttons which are right here so you can add multiple buttons um, they are automatically have touch up inside so don't worry about that file save or Apple S close uh, that now we need to go second view controller let's copy this action so we don't have to type it again again go into the dot M uh, we don't need to import anything so you don't have to worry about that let's just uh, tell this what to do uh, what this action is going to do so we're going to put an open bracket self um, dismiss model view controller animated yes close the brackets close the line of code and there we go apple s let's build and go no errors that's always good so let's click the info button then we click back and there we go so you guys can put this into any um, button you ever anything you ever want um, I'm probably gonna release another SDK tutorial later on today. Thank you guys for